Hi, Imani. How are you? Hi. Hi, you guys. I'm Imani22 from Lancaster, California, and I'm a recording artist. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Well, just to start off, um, can you bring me back to the moment when you realized you wanted to pursue music? How did you get started in the first place? I like always loved music. I was like that kid that was in like drama class, choir. Um, I was acting, dancing. I used to do talent shows and stuff. I was in like my church choir. So singing was always something that was very passionate to me. I was just always kind of shy about doing it. Like I would do talent shows, but I would choke. <laughs> but I still like doing it. Um, and then when I was in college, um, I just was like sitting there one time and I was like, this is what I want to do music. Why am I in school? Like, I don't even care about my major. Like I'm kind of just here for a whole bunch of reasons that don't matter. Like, fuck it basically. So I was like, okay. So I, um, I ended up going to this party one time <laughs> and I met this guy and he, um, I was like bugging him to play music, like so annoying. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, like your music playlist is fine. I was like, yeah, like I make music, I got an ear. And he happened to be someone who wanted to be like a manager. And he had a couple artists like in his roster already. So he like hit me up about it. And the one thing that made me stick with him was like, he was really serious about it. He was honest. So he like got me a show. Like the first week I met him, I performed for like all these people at this lounge. And then we started recording and I made my first single with him in college. And then I was like, fuck this. I made one more and then I dropped out. <laughs> and then no ever since that, yeah, ever since that, I was pursuing music like professionally. Yeah. And like my parents were really cool about it. Like they weren't like, oh my God, you're dropping out of college. What are we going to do? Yeah, like my mom, yeah, my mom's always been like super supportive with my dream because she's like, like you can do it. So I just did it. And like, I used to do um, like music videos for people and stuff. I used to be like a video girl, <laughs> like model and stuff. So I was already kind of knowing people. So she felt like it was more realistic, I guess. So yeah, ever since that, I just got into the right scene to like continue doing what I wanted actively. So how, did, how was releasing your first song, like to the public? Yeah, it was scary. Um, yeah, like obviously I took the SoundCloud wave at first. Um, I had put like one song up before I dropped like my first single. And it was like, like more of a like lyrical singing type of thing. Cause I grew up listening to like a lot of hip hop, like old school hip hop and stuff. My dad is like a super like music head. So like, I've always grew up listening to like Wu-Tang and like Tribe Conquest and like different stuff and like rock music and all that, but like just a lot of good music. So I've always had like a more like lyrical approach. So when I first started, I just was like rapping and then I started singing. So then like the first week I dropped up that one song on SoundCloud, then I released everything else on like Apple Music and everything. But it was scary, but it was really cool. Like it was actually cool being in college and like some of my friends from high school who like hadn't heard me sing were like, wait, this is like, you, wow. like this is crazy, yeah. Cause like in, in high school. Did you ever, did you ever um, sing in front of them before that or no? Yeah, like um, I had a class in high school called Music Appreciation as like one of my electives. And they had a thing like to pass the class, like every, I think it was like every Friday of like the last Friday of the month, all the people like had to um, sing karaoke. You can either do it like a group or by yourself or something, but like that's how you pass the class. And people from other classes used to come into class and like listen to me sing karaoke. And it was like so fine. I used to love it. Like me and my friends used to be practicing in the room, like our song and everything. So like people had heard me, they knew I sang, but it's so different, like, to hear it on a record and, like, pull it up yeah. on Apple Music. So that's when I felt like, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm getting official, like, watch out. <laughs> yeah. And how, wait, so what made you switch sound? So you said you were rapping um, to start mm -hmm. and then um, you became more um, towards R&B? Yeah. Um, well, mostly, like, I don't know. I, I used to write poetry a lot. So I think that, like, that aspect of my life just made me more inclined to just speaking which is where like the rapping came in 
But like even in my first song, like half of it was rapping and half of it was singing. I think I just wanted to find a place where I was more comfortable to sing because I was I'm really shy. So when it came to that, it was like mm, rapping is more comfortable. Like let me just rap. But then I just was like, okay, this is the type of music I I like. So let me just make the type of music that I like. Yeah. And then I just made myself be comfortable into singing. But eventually, like I want to start like rapping and stuff again, but. I always want to do it like as an alter ego like yeah that'd be cool <laughs> yeah like even like when I had first came up with my name like being Imani 22 it was like Imani was going to be like the singing version and then 22 was going to be like when I rap but then I was like nah let's just put it together yeah and that's really cool how do you when you go about a song when you're about to start writing a song do you have like, a specific process or um, anything you do to give you inspiration um sometimes yeah i mean for all my studio sessions i gotta have alcohol <laughs> like it just helps me loosen up because like i said I'm, I, I get shy so i really feed off of like energy in the studio definitely like even when i record at home like i like my my friends to come over like my boyfriend to be in the room or something just yeah. so like i have that like i feel like i have to do better type of feeling or just like the constructive criticism is nice. I really like working like off of that. Or um, I don't know, like when I write, I usually we just pull up beats and then like I'll lay like a melody track down so that it's mostly just like feeling. And then I'll write to it, adjust it or something. But I don't usually write songs beforehand. Sometimes I do, but not often at all. Yeah. And how do you think um, your music has changed over time? So I'm sure it was de different um, when you first started out um, till now. So has anything yeah. really stayed the same about your music making process? Um, mostly, like, the thing that drives my art is, like, my feelings of love. Whether it's, like, love for people or love for things. So, like, it always comes from a good place of, like, my deep emotions. So I think that has always remained the same, even, like, when I work with songwriters and stuff, I always try to remain like vulnerable. But um, I don't know, I've, I've, this last year especially, I've definitely like found my sound and my way of singing. So I think I have a sound now that's recognizable to people, yeah. which is good because that was something that was always hard for me when I was starting out and like working with my old like production label and stuff, just like finding my place in music, in the music industry. But I think I definitely found that this year. So it makes me really happy. And like wow. now I feel more inclined to like experiment. Because like I said, growing up with like so much music, I want to um, dabble in different genres. Like I always say, like um, maybe this year even, I want to have like an alternative album. So like it'll be like all rock music and just have like- That'd be so cool. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I like, I think- my fans will appreciate it because they like like me and stuff. But I think it'd also be cool to like reach out to people in different worlds and just be like, <laughs> hey, yeah. like, here I am. Yeah, definitely. Would you um, collaborate with any other artists for that? Or would it just be solely you? Um... Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I have some people in mind. Like, um, if you're familiar with, like, the artist Lil Tracy. Yeah. I had worked with him before. And I think I would want him to definitely come into that um album with me and just like kind of make my friends step out of their element as well like my friends that make music like get on this rock track and let's like go crazy like <laughs> to have them sing with you yeah I definitely want to have a rock phase I just want to go on stage and go super crazy <laughs> yeah definitely would you consider having a virtual show um I mean right now that's what it's looking like <laughs> but I really love like personal things with my fans like I, I have like some great stage ideas that will keep fans personal to me but also not like I'm the type of artist that loves like I just want to sit in a stool in the middle of the room and just have everyone around me and just yes. perform like I just like like the person the personal feeling of like being on stage and having people close like because I think people forget that like when you're an artist and stuff that like you're still human I still care about all my fans and people like I still want to have that personal connection with them yeah definitely it's definitely special 
uh, what's the typical day um, like for you? I know, of course, with COVID, but pre-COVID, what was it like versus um, um, how, how was it lately? Um, it was always pretty crazy. Um, none of my days ever feel the same. and I never know what day it is unless it's like something I have to do. Um, but I don't know, like for me, I've always been like a homebody anyway. So Corona hasn't changed too much about me, except that I can't really go out to eat in the restaurant. <laughs> but I just like to eat. I like to record. I have a studio in my house and I have for like the past year. So that's always been like easy for me to record when I want to. I live with my boyfriend, so I haven't had to go too far. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I try to do everything in the house. Like if I have friends that I know have been like quarantined well and stuff, like who are photographers, they come shoot at the house and stuff. So it's always kind of been like that, even before Corona. Like I just stay in as much as I can, basically. Yeah. Like a similar yeah. process. <laughs> yeah. What's your out of all your songs? Um, is there any song that's um, particularly special to you, or any project that you've worked on that's been mm -hmm. like memorable? Um, I think one of my most memorable things that I've ever done is definitely um, the interlude for Trippy Red's project because yeah, for me like thank you and like an artist standpoint it was really crazy to me like every time I think about it I'm like damn I really did that because I used to listen to him before I like got into music professionally so it was like and nice to have like artists that you look up to uh, acknowledge you and your talent so that was really great for me and I always remember like the whole time period and how everything happened and just like how fast everything was but like how great it was yeah so that's like one of my favorite things because I think it really kicked off my career in music so that was, so, like, earlier, that was like, earlier in your career right huh but that was earlier in your career, right? Yeah, definitely. That was like about two years ago, now that I think about it. Yeah. But yeah, that was like my first like big um, like name in music. Um, yeah, because like I had already had a couple songs out, but I was kind of just recording, 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 not really putting anything out. And then that was like the first thing of me being even my 22 in a comfortable state with a song that I'm really happy about. So yeah, I always like can relate to that to be like the beginning of my career. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. And did yeah. you think that you would be where you are today? If it wasn't for that? Or just in general, like do you, over the course of your career, um, like just becoming um, like an emerging artist now, did you ever think that your career would pl blow up like that? Yeah, I, I definitely thought so because I believe in like law of attraction and things like that and just like destinies in a sense and I always since I was a kid like this is always what I want to do and if I want something I go for it so I feel like as long as you put the work in and you care about what you're doing that you're always going to be successful so yeah I feel like you create your own success too so if I felt even accomplished with that very first song I put out then I was accomplished like yeah. it's just cool to have it in the outside world as well. <laughs> yeah. And was ever was there ever a time uh, that you considered doing anything else, or do you, or over time you you wanted to stick to being a singer? Yeah, I mean, when I was a kid, I used to like want always want to be like a social worker, or, like yeah. someone <laughs> that like interviewed people who had like mental illnesses and just like understood them, like. I used to like video games when I was younger and I used to play like um, Batman, like Arkham Asylum. And I always thought it was so cool how like they like interviewed the patients and like showed like their life and everything they went through. But I like slightly had changed my mind about it because I was like, mm, this is not a career that I feel like I could see myself doing for a long time. Like I would probably get like depressed or like feel <laughs> weird after a while. So I think I want to just use those like influences in my art like expressing for people who have mental problems or deep feelings that they feel like they can't like express i want to be like the voice for people in the dark basically wow that's so i just spun it in a way yeah <laughs> no for sure i feel like 
at a certain point, a lot of people are going to kind of go back and forth with like different career paths, like, yeah, you know, like going from this career to that career. Um, yeah. I always felt like lucky though, because um, even like before music, how I said I used to model and stuff or like act, I always felt like with singing, like I can kind of dabble into everything. Like I can still take pictures. I can act if I want to. I can design yes. clothes. I can do everything. Like this is a good place to branch out and do all the things I want to do. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Well, tell me about your newest release. I was listening <laughs> to it, of course. Uh, so how is that process? Um, Like, so it's kind of like, picky when we pick singles and stuff um I have a lot of songs I just record and then we decide like hmm should this go on a project should we release it yeah. and um the latest song I have out is close and my intuition with um thousand band funny and molly in DMA so like those two songs I made them in the same week and it was just all emotional. It was just a crazy week. Uh, I was going through a lot of things and I just really felt like I needed to release music again. And I often do that. I just find that like sharing my voice makes me feel better. And I love hearing feedback from my fans and everything and how much they appreciate my music. So I really want to get into the habit of releasing more. But the music side is just like feeling side out so i have to think business wise so i can't drop as much as i want to but i want to yeah. all the time. <laughs> of course well you have your upcoming projects i'm excited to see that <laughs> yeah i'm working on ep i want to start selling pre-sale by my birthday but we'll see if that happens <laughs> okay. um december 27th so oh, basically, yeah. Yeah, by the beginning of the year, I should have a new EP out, definitely. Oh, wow. Are you able and to? I'm excited. About I, turned, I turned 22 this year, so it's my You're big 22 year. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah. Any special plans? <laughs> um, really just going crazy with this, yeah. <laughs> with music and everything, because, you know, 22 is my number, so I got to go up for the 22. That is great. You have to go all out. <laughs> Literally, I have to go crazy, even though it's Corona, you know, I gotta yeah. go crazy in my house. <laughs> yeah, crazy in your house. <laughs> yeah. Blast your music. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, so for, are you able to tell me a little bit about um, what your song is going to be about? Um, well, mostly, like I said, I write like off feeling and everything so it's kind of just like songs about my like journey in music um i'm gonna save most of my like story for my album so that everything like every album i make can just be me growing as a person but eps i like to just share sound with my artists like with my fans and my artists around me just sharing like things i go through on a daily basis things with love things with like self-hate doubt and stuff like that what so what advice would you want to give um young star artists starting out i know your journey was unexpected meeting your manager at a random party <laughs> um, yeah what advice would you give um like artists wanting to start out and all that i would say mostly um just being yourself people always try like i always see like on instagram and stuff a lot of artists who just try to mimic sounds of people who are already like known. And I feel like it's nice to start out that way to yourself, but you don't want your image to be based off of someone else. Yeah. So I think it's like, just be yourself and people are going to appreciate you being yourself because that's my biggest thing is like, I don't like to be compared to people. I don't like to like you be your seem own. like anybody else. I just want to be completely myself, completely vulnerable. Yeah. Because people like like that. They like seeing people be real and raw. And that's why a lot of people that we look up to, they created their own sound. They created their own lane where it's like, yeah. if someone does something, you're going to be like, oh, that sounds like this person or that person. Like, 
you should strive to just be your most true self and you'll always win because you're being authentic. Yeah. Authenticity is the most important thing in music because music is art and art comes from inside. Yeah, exactly. I feel like you have a really unique sound, which is what, um, which is what um, drawn me to, to listen to in the first place. I always love like discovering new artists and um, new songs. So when I came across your songs, I was like, you definitely sound like no one else in my playlist. And like, that's what I want. Thank you. So. Thank you. Yeah, that was like one of my favorite things to do. Like when I was in high school, I used to love being on SoundCloud and just like look up a genre and just go through the whole list and see if I like new stuff to just discover new music. And I haven't done that in so long because I've been so focused on like myself and like things like my personal life. But I want to start getting back into that again and just like finding loop sounds, yeah. like fire me and things like that. Do you think do you think social media has affected um your career or the way that you make music and find music? Um, yeah, because like I said, like I'm more of like a personal person. I'm really like to myself. Um, I like to pop out every once in a while, but I'm very I like to stay at home. I don't really care about social media. But it is like a great tool and I love how connected you can be to people like all over the world. So I try to use it as much as possible, but it's still like hard for me. But um, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with it and like the idea of just like, oh, like turning on live to like cook or like turning on live to like just make a song just yeah. so people can feel connected to you. But it's like, it's weird to me, <laughs> but I like it at the same yeah. time. I just, I don't think about it all the time. So my main goal for like 2021 is just to like share more content with my fans. Yeah. Definitely. And is there a specific um, platform that you think you get like the most attention from or? Yeah. Definitely Instagram. I keep my, um, I keep my Twitter kind of personal. I don't really like promote it a lot or anything. So it's like, if my fans find it, they find it. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> like I'll post it every once in a blue moon, but I kind of like to keep that private for now while I can. Just um, my own personal thoughts, um, sub tweets and whatever. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> I just awesome. like to keep it to myself for now, but pretty soon I know it'll be public and that will just be it. But for now I'm moving it up. <laughs> And is there, is there like a main, um, anything specific that you like to talk about in your music the most? Like when mm. you're about to create a song, are you really shooting for something specific or is it more um, the moment how you're feeling? Yeah, it's mostly like how I'm feeling. Like with my EP, um, The Color Red, I named it that because red is like a color of like love or anger or like passion or just like something really intense so all the songs on there were feelings of like intensity like their songs about love their songs about being mad their songs about like just like saying fuck it like having fun like it's just like all the emotions i went through during making that ep because that ep took me like a year or so to make just because of everything i was going through so I think I don't I don't like to think too much when I'm recording. I just mm -hmm. like to get in the booth and like play on the beat until I feel like it's gonna be a hit or a good song. Yeah. So fitting that we're both wearing red. I <laughs> know, I love it. <laughs> it's Christmas time, you know, red yeah. and blue. <laughs> uh, and do you have any like long term goals or anything that like any wishes for um, down the line in terms of your yeah music career. definitely I just want to um put more music out get more fans like I have a lot of fans all over the world but I want like more like I want more I want to start acting this year definitely and just like my new year's resolution is basically just getting back on like a good like healthy routine I'm gonna start changing my diet and just working way harder because you know you can always go harder and as long as you are healthy emotionally wise then it's good so that's my goal is just to more content more love for my fans more music yeah no for sure and what do you hope um your fans take away from your music what when they're listening um were you kind of like imagining your fans listening to your music especially yeah. like i i just picture like 
that they would listen and realize like with me being vulnerable with them that it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to like tell how you feel because in this generation especially i've noticed it's like so popular to be like sad and to just like i'm depressed i have anxiety i have this i have that but it's okay to like use that and work through it and like make music make art create something even just work and be good like i want to show them that like it's okay to express your emotions in a way that helps you and that's comfortable and that everyone's human and that like basically it's okay like it's okay yeah. <laughs> that's what i want them to notice and like to be yourself and you think i'm cool i'm being myself i'm pretty sure you're cool as fuck being yourself so like let's just <laughs> all do that yeah because with social media it can easily like people will see something that they like and they just want to do it but yeah. like i want to show them you don't have to do that like you yeah. don't have to be like someone else to be cool because that person got cool by being themselves just be you I feel like that's such an important message. I feel like we should normalize kind of being ourselves and not believing or trying to conform to everything we see online. I feel like it's great that like you're staying to, your, to yourself. That's, I feel like that's the most important part. Yeah. Well, it is so great having you here today. Thank you so Thank much. You. I appreciate it. it Thank so you fun. for having me. <laughs>